What if I told you I could fly? I looked around me and the world was still. Its silence was louder than usual. I closed my eyes and breathed in. The clouds hugged the sides of mountains and the sun kissed the heads of homes over the horizon. I felt at peace. I closed my eyes and imagined myself flying back in time, opened my eyes again and I was five. I feel my heart drop. Tears glide down my face and form oceans under me, swallowing me whole. My father was about to leave me again. He was leaving to the United States to work. This was normal for us leaving to work multiple jobs so that he can provide for us. I longed for the day that we would all be a family again. When I was five, my father took the opportunity to go to the United States. He called every day and told me stories of metal bridges that flow over the water and white frozen water that fell from the sky and looked like cotton candy. The harsh goodbyes will forever be branded as one of my earliest memories. I remember the guava tree. It was almost kissing the ground with its fragile leaves. My mother had called me out back to help with dinner while my father sneaked into the cab and left for America again. A year later, I left behind everything and moved from a tiny home in the Dominican Republic to a tiny one bedroom in New York. Growing up, my parents were my role models. They gave up everything for me to get a better life. They taught me resilience, and hard work. They taught me that I could do anything I set my mind to. I remember skydiving, how excited I was to jump. For the first time in my life, I felt invincible, like I could truly do anything I set my mind to. I thought of the little six-year-old girl who taught herself English because she peed her pants the first day of school. I saw her determined to learn how to say, may I use the bathroom? I remember how frustrated I was because I could not speak the language. As I was up in the air, staring at the small homes get closer, I saw myself happy. I felt free. There are moments in life when you're flying, but your feet are still touching the ground. You come across people, experiences, and feelings that remind you of who you are and push you to where you need to be. I opened my eyes and found my feet in the earth, the sun setting on one side and the moon shining in the other, a collision between light and day and I am its audience. Cars mind their own business below me. I had landed on top of lion's head. My hands rough from the climb up were full of earth. I feel like I am still flying. I look around me and I was surrounded by people who cared about me and wanted to see me win. I felt full of hope. Electricity flowed through the wind, powering the homes and the townships, giving light to darkness and fueling my determination to do anything I set my mind to. What if I told you that you could fly? Look around you and notice the world go still. It's silence louder than usual. Close your eyes and breathe in. Imagine the clouds hugging the sides of a mountain and the sun kissing the heads of homes over the horizon as it says goodnight. Think about where you stand right now because I know there's no place I'd rather be than right here, right now.